What up, everybody? In today's show, we're talking Chris Stops Porzingis. Because I've gotten like 30 DMs on Twitter asking me, would I trade Julius Randle for Chris Stops Porzingis? Well, I'm going to open the floor for you guys to answer. Pick a player. Who would you rather have on the Knicks next year? Is it Julius Randle? Is it Chris Stops Porzingis? Type JR for Julius or KP for Tingus Pingus. Yo, what up, everybody? You're watching New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. In today's show, we're going to break down the idea of the Knicks maybe making a sign and trade for Kristaps Porzingis or maybe even just trading Julius Randle for Kristaps Porzingis. A lot of people have been talking about it on Twitter. There were some talking heads on the radio in New York that talked about it. So we are going to talk about it in today's show. He has a player option for this upcoming season. He is expected to decline that and then become an unrestricted free agent. But before we get into that, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because if the Knicks go out and do a sign and trade for Chris Stops Porzingis or they do anything this offseason, we're going to put out a video as soon as possible. So go down right now, hit that big red button, lock us in, Knicks Now videos every single day. So Brandon Tierney of the Tiki and Tierney Show on WFAN said this about KP. He said, Chris Stops Porzingis is the guy I want because he's got a player opt out and can't opt out. He's tall and he can score and he can take the stress away from Brunson and Randall. This year, Porzingis averaged 23 points per game. He shot 50% from the field and 39% from three. That's phenomenal. The league average is 35 or 36. I think the idea of Randall and Chris stops Porzingis is interesting, no doubt about it. But the thing is, the only way the Gi uh, Giants, the New York Knicks, can really make a move for Chris stops Porzingis is if it's a sign and trade because they are so far up against the salary cap, and right now they're over the salary cap. They're not going to be able to offer Chris stops Porzingis what five years, 180 million is probably what he's going to be asking for. I mean, he's going to get the bag. You turn down 31 guaranteed million dollars. You're looking for the absolute bag, and that's what Kristaps Porzingis is going to get. So before we get into today's show, do you think they should do it? Do you think the Knicks should sign Kristaps Porzingis? I mean, I think he's a very polarizing player right now amongst a lot of New York Knicks fans. You either love him, you either hate him, you want him back, or you don't want him back. So sound off. Do you want him? Type S for sign, type P for pass. We'll talk about a potential Randall for Porzingis swap coming up in a second. But make sure you guys are hooked up with our brand new sponsor, Bird Dogs. Go to birddogs.com and use the promo code chat. They're going to hook you guys up with a free, yes, free Yeti style tumbler. I love Bird Dogs because they're swaggy, they're comfortable in all the different styles. They've got pants, they've got shorts, and the fit is unparalleled. As a guy like me that likes to always be wearing some sort of athletic gear, you can do that with Bird Dogs. But the thing is, they don't just look like gym shorts. They feel like gym shorts, but better, and they look like a pair of pants or shorts that you could wear out to dinner, that you could wear out to a date, that you could wear to work, that maybe you could wear to the gym, or even to the golf course. I promise you, you guys are going to love them. The pants are awesome. The shorts, you can go with the smaller shorts in length, you can go in the medium length, or you can go with the long length. As someone who likes looking good and feeling confident, Bird Dogs is what I am rocking with. These shorts and pants have truly changed the game for me. The fit is unparalleled, and I never felt better in any other clothing item. And I promise you will feel the same way as way as well. The fit for me with shorts is always the most important and bird dogs, they have perfected that. So get hooked up, get a free gift, a free Yeti style tumbler. When you go to birddogs.com and use the promo code chat, that link and promo code are in the comments and description of today's show. Let's talk about the player that Kristaps Porzingis is. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, you guys know who Kristaps Porzingis is. The talent is there, no doubt about it. And the fact that he played in 65 games this year shows you that maybe he has overcome that injury bug that has really been bothering, through, bothering him throughout his career. Because he played in less than 60 games in 2019. He played in less than 45 games in 2020. And he played in just 51 games in 2021. But this was his best season in the league for the Washington Wiz. 23 points per game, 8.5 rebounds, a block and a half. Really efficient as well. 50% from the deck and 38.5% from downtown. The question is, is he durable enough? Can a guy like Kristaps Porzingis at 7'3 and maybe 230 pounds be a guy that is 
dependable for the next four, five, six, seven years. Because if you trade for Kristaps Porzingis, it's not just for this year. It's for a long, long time. And I'm going to be honest with you, the injuries are worrisome for me with Kristaps Porzingis. I mean, I know we played in a lot of games this year, but the data and the trends and the science tells you that it may not be sustainable. I mean, there's no questions about KP's talent. We know that he is called the unicorn or was once called a unicorn for – a large part of his career. I mean, the guy is a seven foot three, shot blocking, rim protecting, stretch big that can create his own shot off the bounce. He could do it at the three point line. He could do it at the mid range game. Um, he's great. He's a great player, and the talent is awesome. I loved him when he was a New York Nick. I just don't know if I want to go back down the route of having to wonder is KP playing tonight? Is he going to be available next week? Will he be available for 25 games straight? I just don't know if he's still got that right now or if that will continue like it did last year for Washington but if the Knicks do want to go out and get Chris Topps for Zingas it would likely have to be a sign in trade because like we mentioned earlier in the video the Giants a uh, Giants the Knicks I keep saying that I apologize the Knicks are over the salary cap they only have the mid-level exception and the non-taxpayer exception that they can offer one's like 12.2 million and one is just under three million dollars so you're not getting Chris Topps for Zingas with either one of those guys and who could the Knicks maybe offer in a sign and trade? <laughs> you betcha. Julius frickin' Randall. But would you do it? Would I trade Julius Randall for Kristaps Porzingis? We'll get to that in a second. Let's compare the two players, though, and what they did this past season. Randall missed just the final five games of the season due to that ankle injury. Porzingis only missed 17 games. So that's definitely a step in the right direction for him. Randall averaged more points. He averaged more rebounds. Uh, Randall is a better assist player. He averaged four assists. But Porzingis is a much better defender and specifically rim protector. I do worry about Porzingis' defense at the four, chasing around those movement shooters coming off screens and playing on the perimeter. I like him more at the center spot than the power forward spot. Gives you one and a half blocks. The efficiency definitely goes to Kristaps Porzingis. Um, but it's the injuries. It's the injuries that really, really hold me back. Um, Look, I, I like Porzingis, no doubt about it. The thing I got to ask myself is, should the Knicks trade Julius Randle for Kristaps Porzingis? I'll ask you guys this question right now. You can go ahead and just answer it in the comment section. Would you even think about trading Julius Randle for Kristaps Porzingis? Signing Kristaps Porzingis to a four-year, five-year deal, and then you're getting back uh, you're uh, trading, excuse me. You're signing Kristaps Porzingis, but you're having to give up the salary of Julius Randle. That's definitely something I think the Knicks would think about, and I think that's really the only way they would do it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would trade uh, Julius Randle for Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Julius Randle. I think you guys know that if you watch this program, but the best ability is availability. I just don't know if Chris Stops is going to be an available player for a long, long time in his career. Let me know. Would you trade Randall for Perzingis? Trade or pass? Let me know in the comment section. Look, as much as I hate Randall, and hate's a strong word, but but I do kind of hate him. Um, I can't trade him for Chris Stops Porzingis. I, I just can't. Uh, I, I can't do it. Uh, trading for Chris Stops Porzingis would be one of the most Knicks move of all time because – He's going to get hurt again. It's going to happen. The Mavericks thought they had it with Kristaps Porzingis, and, and it didn't work out. Look, I don't know. I, I just can't do it. I would want to see, though, even though I don't know how possible it is, maybe you make Mitchell Robinson the sacrificial lamb in a sign and trade, and you pair him with Evan Fournier's salary, and you go about the sign and trade that way. I do think a 5-4 five, a five, duo, a power forward center duo of Kristaps Porzingis and Julius Randle would be pretty interesting. The floor would be spaced very well. You could play a true five-out offense, which is where Julius Randle excels and where Jalen Brunson excels. I am intrigued by a Jalen Brunson, Kristaps Porzingis, Julius Randle mid-three, I guess you'd call it, because it's not really a big three, but at the end of the day, I don't think Kristaps Porzingis is going to be a New York Nick. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. Look, if we get any more news and rumors and updates, you can find out on my Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I do think, though, that Kristaps Porzingis wants to be a New York Knick again because what he said during the regular season about his time with the Knicks 
was a very mature response. I think it was very articulate, but I think it was calculated as well. I think Tingus Pingus wants to be back in the blue and orange. He said, I can only say really good things about the organization because I enjoyed it so much playing there in New York and playing in front of those fans. It was a dream come true. In the moment, I didn't realize it. It's not like that everywhere. New York is a special place. Madison Square Garden is the most special place I had ever played in. But at that moment, I thought it was like that on every team. I had the most fun playing in the garden. Could I go back and do things differently? For sure from our side. I was hurt. If I kept playing, it would have been completely different. I'm young and listening to people and what they're telling me on what I should do with my career. You don't know any better. That's how things went at that time. I don't want to get into too much detail, but how things went with the communication wasn't my style. My style would be different with whatever needed to be done. Maybe it was nothing. My style would have been different either way, but I was wrong. I was going with the flow. If that ain't a man that had his heart broken by his ex-girlfriend and wants her back, I don't know what is. I'll tell you this much. I don't even know the name of the arena for the Washington Wizards. Playing there ain't like playing in Madison Square Garden. And I think it was also a little bit of shot at the Dallas Mavericks because the AAC, the American Airlines Arena here in uh, Dallas, that ain't no Madison Square Garden either. I'll tell you that much. Look, could it happen? Maybe. Will it happen? I'm not calling it that likely. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you want to yell at me. Do it on Twitter. Uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Made it this far in the video. Hit that thumbs up icon.